recipes, recipes, and recipes once again. What's up, 23% Nation? This is your man, Coach D. Today, I'm back with the Success Saturday video series, where here we learn exactly how to be successful while on the 23% Challenge meal plan. Now, guys, I have something very special in store for you today. Why? Because we're going to address an age-old question, which is, when am I going to prepare my next plant-based vegan recipe? So please hang tight, hold tight. We're going to dive just a little deeper. All right. As always, I have objectives, meaning things I need to accomplish. Now, my first objective is short term, and it is known as Coach D's tip. Basically, it's a little bit of help, a little bit of advice, a little bit of support. Now, my next objective is rather long term, and it is to save one million animals. That's right, guys. You heard Coach D. I'm looking to save one million animals. Now, I know that may sound like a really big goal, but believe it or not, I'm going to break it down into bite sized pieces to let you know that we collectively can accomplish this. All right. So let's start with Coach D's tip. Objective number one, which is all about plant-based or we can use the word vegan recipes now as i stated before the reason for this video is to let you know how to be successful while on the 23 percent challenge meal plan so yes that means that while you're on the meal plan you can actually concoct your own recipes plant-based of course now what i want to address is <laughs> another age old question right and that is what is a plant-based recipe well guys wait no further a plant-based recipe is a set of instructions for preparing a particular dish including a list of the ingredients required that's right guys now let's talk about these ingredients shall we Ingredients are plants or they come directly from plants, not animals. So basically, guys, there is one big differentiating factor between any other recipe that you could probably kick in, cook in your kitchen and a plant-based recipe. That primary difference is the ingredients are plants or they come directly from plants, not animals. All right. Now let's dive just a little deeper into these rest I'm sorry <laughs> into these recipe ingredients, shall we? Now remember, plant-based recipes require plant-based ingredients, right? So what I'm gonna help you do is to basically distinguish which recipes or shall I say which ingredients are allowed versus those ingredients which are not allowed. So let's first discuss those that are allowed. They get a big Y-E-S. First up, herbs and spices. Now, if you're like Coach D and you absolutely love herbs and spices, guys, don't fret. I've already done a video about herbs and spices. Now, let's just keep one thing in mind. Herbs and spices do an amazing job at adding amazing flavor to any, if not all, plant-based recipes. Next up, fruits and vegetables are totally allowed. Nuts and seeds, those are always allowed and always welcomed. Next up, whole grains, right? And also beans and peas, or shall we say legumes. Now let's dive into the ingredients that are not allowed. Pretty much this simply means that these ingredients simply come from animals. So first up, no oil, no eggs. 
No butter, no meat, no blood. No seafood, no beeswax, and no honey. No casein, no milk or milk byproducts. No confectioner's glaze. No gelatin or gelatin products. No icing glass in beer and or wine, which pretty much excludes any type of alcoholic beverage while you are on the 23% challenge meal plan. And last but not least, absolutely no L-cysteine in bread products and whey in bread and sweets. All right. Now, I know that a lot of you are probably ready to go, right? You're ready to jump in the kitchen, pull out the pots and pans, open up the refrigerator and see exactly what you have so that you can cook up your next plant based uh, recipe, right? But some of us aren't quite as enthusiastic as Coach D. I get it. I understand it. So you may be sitting there wondering, all right, Coach D, you want me to make a plant based recipe? Why? Because I'm doing a 23% challenge meal plan win the first seven days of every month, <laughs> right? But I need to know, how do I find them? Well, guys, wait no more. So step number one, go to Google, right? Step number two, I want you to type in, you can type in vegan recipes or you can type in plant-based recipes. And then of course you want to hit enter and yes, Google will give you your desired results within less than half of a second, right? So that's one way. Now let's talk about an alternative way. Why? Because some of us are lazy. I get it, right? So you may be like, you know what, Coach D, I'm lazy. I don't want to look. Well, if that's you, <laughs> don't worry, don't fret, don't stress. Coach D is here. I'm going to hook it up for you. Now, guys, I've already done the research and I came across quite a few websites that actually cater to plant-based vegan recipes. So hang tight. Here we go. Number one, feasting at home. Number two, plant-based cooking. Number three, love and lemons. Number four, forks over knives, which by the way is one of my personal favorites. I've eaten numerous plant-based recipes from this particular website. And I got to tell you that most of them, and, and when I say most, I mean like nine out of 10 are absolutely amazing. Next up is Foodie Crush. Then we have the Food Network. Live Kindly. And we have the Minimalist Baker. Now, guys, all you have to do, okay, remember, I'm making it easy for you. Click on the description box, okay, and guess what? I am providing you with a direct link to each of these websites that feature numerous, and I do mean numerous, plant based recipes. Now, here's the good news is that when you visit these websites, they're going to give you a lot of great information such as an ingredient list, obviously, cooking instructions, pictures, and maybe even videos. That's right. So again, click on the description box, look at the list, click on the link, right, and check out their offerings. Once again, this is going to be very, very easy, very, very simple. All you have to do is click the link. All right. Now, some of us may be a little bit of excited, right? Because now you know exactly where to go online in order to facilitate these plant-based recipes. But a lot of us may still have a lot of questions. One of which is, Coach D, when do I recipe, right? In other words, when should I create or make <laughs> a vegan recipe? Right. Well, guys, here are a few tips. OK. Number one, if you have kids now, they could be small, middle or large size kids. It doesn't really matter. Right. We can create 
an activity with the kids. Ladies and gentlemen, or shall I say parents, mom and dad, or mom and mom, or dad and dad, really doesn't matter. This is a perfect opportunity for you to bond with your children. This is a perfect opportunity for you to teach your children something about plant foods, right? Here's another opportunity for you to create a plant-based recipe, right? Is date night. You see guys, oftentimes, or probably more often than not, we decide to go out to eat, right? We leave it up to the restaurant to control our portion sizes. We leave it up to the fast food places to basically put a lot of toxins into our bodies. Well, no more. It's time for us to gain control. And it's also time for us to maybe impress that person that you are dating, right? So consider this. Maybe for date night, you invite the person over to your place and you whip up a nice plant-based recipe. Or if you wanna go the full mile, you could actually take your date to the grocery store or farmer's market with you, come back to whichever place, his place, your place, her place, your place, doesn't really matter. Cook, talk, eat, and then do whatever else you wanna do <laughs> once the meal is over. Another opportunity for a plant-based recipe, ladies and gentlemen, is family night. That's right. Ladies, grab the kids and your husband or wife. Fellas, grab your wife or husband and the kids, right? And make it family night. But this time, make sure that every person who's in the house has a specific role. Now, guys, I do understand that some of your kids may be rather young, well, believe it or not, assigning them duties during the recipe process will actually help them learn more about plant foods. So give them something to do and they'll enjoy it that much more. Next up is game night. Now, 23% Nation, one thing that you need to understand about Coach D is that I absolutely love college football. Go Canes, right? <laughs> now, oftentimes I go over to friends' houses and guess what? I bring over plant-based food so that we can have a plant-based meal. Now, even though my fellow fans <laughs> aren't plant-based, they still enjoy the food. Maybe they like it, maybe they do it just to satisfy me, whatever the case may be. If you enjoy sports, any type of sporting activity, whether it's outside or inside, can definitely use a plant-based recipe. Another idea is during a cookout. Now, usually cookouts are reserved for friends and or family members. Well, guess what? Taking a plant-based recipe to a cookout will surely be a game changer. A next great occasion to take a plant-based recipe is an office party. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been to several office parties in my lifetime and I'm always scanning the food, looking at the table, figuring out what I can and cannot eat. Well guys, if you're the type of person where maybe you're the only plant-based person in the entire office, then you need to take something that you can eat, right? As opposed to not eating wrong. So here's something else. You never know. You may inspire a fellow co-worker, a fellow colleague to maybe start eating more plants, right? So believe in yourself, believe in your skills, and also believe that your dish will be eaten, if not by you, maybe by someone else. And last but not least, holiday parties are amazing opportunities for us to go plant-based, believe it or not. Now, I've given you several different websites that you can check out in the previous slide. Now, one of the ones that I definitely want to suggest is ForksOverKnives.com. Don't worry, the link is in the site. I'm sorry, it's in the description box. Now, I believe they do have a section dedicated to holiday season or holiday time or maybe holiday parties. Just take a, just take a look at the list and chances are 
you'll find something that is rather festive so there we have it guys we now have about seven different occasions where we can definitely incorporate some type of plant-based recipe all right now it's time to move on to coach d's ultimate objective long-term objective and that is to save one million animals here's something that's rather cool i recently came across a website it's entitled vegancalculator.com vegancalculator.com and here's what they have to say they say that eating a 100 percent plant-based diet for seven days saves seven animals that's right seven days you save seven animals now a lot of you may be wondering all right coach d saving a, a one million animals is a huge task how in the world am i going to be able to contribute also which animals are you looking to save i'm a little confused i need some clarification well guys look no further here are the types of animals that i am looking to save number one are the animals that we eat as food meaning farm animals right so we're talking about the cows the pigs the chickens the lambs the sheep the bunnies the fish the crab the lobster and any other thing that probably swims in our oceans right now the second type of animal that i'm looking to to save not consume <laughs> are those animals whose natural habitats are destroyed due to how humans eat right now here's something else that i recently came across is a movie it's called cowspiracy in the movie they say that animal agriculture is the biggest contributor to climate change air pollution water pollution deforestation decertification ocean dead zones and yes species extinction now what does that all mean guys when we talk about animal agriculture really what we're talking about is a two-headed beast meaning head number one is actually creating animals to be used for food and then the other head of the beast head number two is actually clearing land to grow crops so that these animals can eat of course now here's what's happening is that when you clear land meaning the forest well you not only destroy the trees but then you also destroy the animals that live in the forest in the jungles right and because we're also polluting our waters well that is what creates the ocean dead zones right we're destroying the habitats of where these at where these animals actually live so in short coach d is looking to save all animals 23 percent nation i need your help very very important i need the help of 145,000 people now i know that may sound like a lot but really it's not and all you have to do is dedicate your time energy effort and money to the 23 percent challenge meal plan now here's something that you need to remember is that the 23 percent challenge meal plan only lasts for seven days that's right guys only seven days now which seven days well it's the first seven days of every single month the first through the seventh and remember if you're able to do this you yourself a single individual will save seven animals that's why i need 145,000 people to do it 23 percent nation i hear you a lot of you are stepping up to the plate and you say coach d i get it i want to help right so guess what i'm gonna make it easy right guys i've teamed up with fiverr.com and guess what i now have my own gig there now yes you can go out to the grocery store you can go out to the farmer's market and you can buy a whole bunch of plant foods on your own but i do know that some of us need a little bit of guidance some of us need a plan some of us need a meal plan so guys that's where coach d steps in 
I'm going to help you put together and actually help you customize your very own seven day plant based vegan meal plan. So if you're a lazy vegan or maybe thinking about becoming a vegan, then go ahead, click on the link. Actually, it's in the description box with the other links that I've already provided for you right so when you get there you're going to click on the link you're going to make the purchase oh and by the way it doesn't just come with the meal plan i'm actually going to give you a nutrition report a health assessment and yes a good old <laughs> are you ready for this workout plan now depending on what your goals are i can help you lean down or i can help you bulk up right whatever the case may be you just let me know so there you have it guys go check out my gig on fiverr.com don't worry the link is in the description box it's time for our question of the day this comes from yours truly and the rest of the 23 percent nation we have inquiring minds so we want to know which occasion is best for your next plant-based recipe now i believe i hooked you up with seven maybe you want to pick one of mine or maybe you want to choose one of yours whatever the case may be please write your answer in the comment box below guys i want to thank you for watching i definitely want to thank you for listening as always let's eat well feel well think well do well be well and please don't forget to use our three word mantra it's hashtag eat more plants as stated earlier my name is coach d i'm signing out Always remember to take care. God bless and never ever forget that Coach D loves you.